Hi. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hello. Welcome to a new episode. Episode 19? 18? Yeah, 19. Yeah. Episode 19 of Just the Tips. I am Joanna Angel. I am Aaron. I am Small Hands. I'm a few other things. But more importantly, we have someone special with us today. We have a very special guest. Why, why don't you introduce yourself? The most special guest. This is my actual IRL <laughs> sister, Sarah. Also, yay. Yay. Hi. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Hi Sarah. Hi. It's um, great to be here. Yeah. Thanks uh, for inviting me. She has a kind of a stage name of Sarah Screams, but she is not. Let's just put this yeah, out there so everyone make, knows. For the record. Sarah is not in the porn industry. She doesn't Correct. do porn. You cannot find her doing porn anywhere. She She's has done some burlesque shows. <laughs> guilty so by her, association. Her burlesque yeah. name is Sarah Screams. Yeah, Sarah Screams. So you can like maybe see me partially naked on the internet somewhere, but Like not, in a photo. Like in, you know. yeah, random areas of the internet but not no porn yeah gotcha. i know that's going to be everybody's question and now everyone's yeah. just going to turn off this episode yeah <laughs> uh, way to go yeah. great work Joanna. okay <laughs> damn it damn it i mean maybe you have done it and i just don't know about it oh oh provocative <laughs> Um, well, you two also have a brilliant. Yeah, we can get the brilliant get our promotional things out of brilliant the brilliant show. It happens to be your favorite I, show. It is my favorite show that exists. <laughs> really? And oh, I, Aaron. It's called Cooking in Brooklyn. Cook in, cook in, in Brooklyn. Cooking in Brooklyn, mm -hmm. starring Joanna Angel and Sarah Screams. Mm -hmm. And I, I hesitate to call it a cooking show. Mm -mm. I hesitate. Yeah. Um, it's more of a show where you two very enthusiastically try to recreate recipes and, and whatever happens, happens. It yeah. usually becomes a little unhinged and it's, it's my favorite show. So I, I am so happy to be sitting across <laughs> from the cast. Are of, you starstruck? Of Cooking in Brooklyn. Yes. I, You've been I, featured I, on the yeah. show. Um, kind of. Sometimes, yeah. sometimes I crash the live. Yeah, mm -hmm. sometimes. Mm -hmm. It's been a little while since you've crashed the show. Yeah, we miss you. Yeah. Oh, well. we, but we, you can, we are on YouTube. What's mm -hmm. our YouTube URL? You, well, you, are we cooking in Brooklyn or cooking in Brooklyn? Well, the actual name of the show is cooking in Brooklyn, but I believe the URL <laughs> is cooking in Brooklyn. <laughs> That's it's not a little, confusing at all. It's a little complicated. We like to keep people guessing. You can go to my links. MyJoanna.com has all my links of everything. And so it's there. There's a link inside of there to the cooking in Brooklyn YouTube. We are also on TikTok. Um, yeah, we are. Cooking we are on TikTok. We are on TikTok. We've been. We have thirty six followers, so <laughs> we could Rushing use it. some help. <laughs> We're going viral as we speak. So, so yeah. Wait, I want to tell it because it's very funny. I, well, I didn't mean to jump on top of you. Everybody, I know the comment. Joanne always interrupts everyone. Oh, you, you were say? looking at this can of liquid death while you said that. So I was like, is she talking no, to have... the can of water? It's, like, what is happening it's here? It's my, my ADD, gotcha, Aaron. It makes gotcha. you, like, focus really hard on yeah, things you are... that aren't important at the moment. <laughs> you were, like, to the can. You were like, I'm yeah, so sorry. You get hyper-focused, and then you can't focus. Well, um, what were you going to say before I so rudely interrupted you? I... I don't recall, so continue. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, good. Um, we can explain how the show started, and then we can go into, like, you know, more more exciting things of what it was like growing up to be my sister. But mm -hmm. this show actually started, um, I remember we were on a family trip. Oh, yeah. In Michigan. Yes, yeah. we were. We were uh, at like, a cottage not in up. State Michigan. Yeah, upstate Michigan. Lake Michigan. Lake Michigan. No, it's not on Lake. I always say we're on Lake Michigan yeah. and it's not. We're on it's a, uh should I say the lake? I, I mean, didn't know. Fine. <laughs> we, can, we can plug the lake. We could should we plug the lake? Will the lake be mad at me yeah. that I'm there and I've been poor? <laughs> well, you know, it's a very upscale <laughs> lake. We saw the houses. <laughs> we saw <laughs> Yeah. The Walloon Lake. Yeah, Walloon Lake. It was that I thought we were on we are on Walloon. Yeah, we do on... stay on Walloon Lake. This yeah. is very important information. Yeah. Really good it that we're talking about It started on this. Walloon Lake. 
on a nice house and we had a uh, like a cottage there anyway um everybody every night of the week like takes turns making dinners because it's like all a whole bunch of different families and my dad's side of the family get together um our dad's side of the family um anyway it was it was my night to make dinner Mm -hmm. (laughs) and um, me and you made a cake. We and made a peach cobbler. Oh, and a tres leches. Yeah, we made a tres leches cake. I actually don't even... The, the peach cobbler was very, like, secondary. Yeah. That was, like, my dad. Yeah, the, no, you're right. The, the tres leches, that was the main event. And yeah. it was delicious. It was delicious. And it's, like... We were a mess. We were such a mess. And, and everybody, like, the whole kitchen was, like, we used every single bowl yeah. and plate in the kitchen and and we were kind of like bickering the whole time but in a loving way yeah yeah we had like flour all over yeah. each other and like we were like trying to like scroll through the internet to find directions and it was kind of a last minute thing i was making tacos for everyone fish tacos um and in the middle of it uh i don't know if it was my idea or your idea to make a cake for dessert yeah i don't know i, don't I think you talked was... about the tres leche and then we were like oh it this takes like five hours and then you're like, well, we could do it anyway <laughs> we can, and then, in like 45 minutes. Right. And then we were just. It, it seems yeah. like that's kind of the theme of your show yeah. is to take a recipe that's long and complex and to say, fuck it. We could probably do it in 20 minutes. Yeah. And not, and not we don't follow believe any the recipe. Yeah. But yeah, exactly. <laughs> at that moment, it was pretty exciting because at, like everybody was like, you know, we have a lot of older people in our family and like they needed to eat dinner at a certain time you know mm-hmm. like everyone was going to be sitting down for dinner by i don't know seven o'clock yeah and these are like old old people you know they they're hungry, yeah they're, they're hungry tired, they're not yeah. you know and uh, there's gonna... a lot of them they're jews they're very picky yeah very picky people <laughs> um, yeah, very eclectic crowd right and it just felt like we were in this rush in the kitchen to get this cake ready and it like felt like we were on a tv show and it was really exciting but the exciting part was that we actually really no one had any faith in us at all mm-hmm. And I know that the best feeling in the world is saying I told you so. And I, the cake turned out good in the it end. It was so good. No one had any faith in us. No. I, I every, didn't really yeah, have faith. Remember our aunt like came in the kitchen and she's like, whatever you guys are doing, can you please stop? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and your, your husband, um, who is a chef, was like insulting us. Yeah. Saying we were like making a mockery out of... <laughs> Out of his passion. Of, yeah. Well, his passion is not baking. Yeah, it's true. His passion yeah, isn't baking. He, it was, we were all, uh, uh, yeah, the, the cake you he know, stayed out of. He was outside of his territory. Um, but no one had any faith, faith in our cake. So I was like, we should start a cooking show. And yeah. I just, the first time we did it, I was like, this is going to be a mess. And in the end, it's going to be amazing. And that just, that just yeah, hasn't, the well, amazing, the, the that beginning hasn't really started, happened. Right? Yeah. <laughs> the amazing part hasn't really panned out. I will say, you, we have done okay stuff we've done okay stuff. Uh, like some stuff has been a complete and utter disaster and some have been like not like exciting not like oh my god this is like so good but it's been fine yeah we we pulled off a cupcake <laughs> the bar before. has been set the bar it's, has yes. been it's set. fine <laughs> it's fine the ultimate epic failure was our cake pops yeah i know and i was re-watching some of it today and it was horrible. It's horrible. We it did was, it so wrong. It was so funny, but also and it was we... hard to watch. So, so when you <laughs> when you watch this show to everybody listening out there, it's going to make you feel better about yourself. Oh. Because you're going to watch. Well, it is funny. No, Something... but well, some okay. people feel better like, like oh, they're just like me. Because on... <laughs> I also suck at making Look, cake every pops. cooking show you watch, it always turns out perfect. Right. It yeah. always turns yeah. out perfect. Except for Nailed It. Except for Nailed It, where yeah. they're embracing how bad it is, you know. Yeah. But it's always just like unrealistic. Like, how do these people pull this off? And everything mm-hmm. is all, all the ingredients are like, oh, a cake and, you know, make this meal in... 25 minutes but that's only 25 minutes if everything is chopped up and measured and and you mm-hmm. know and their kitchen's clean and whatever you guys aren't we are fucking around it. with like the hollywood cooking show this no, is real street this is level real, real life shit. yeah show. real life shit real. cooking in brooklyn, cooking in yeah. brooklyn. <laughs> we made the cake put pops. some respect there on was it. like we did everything wrong with the cake pops and then we did them a second time <laughs> And it was just sad. At the I remember second time was terrible. Too. You asked me to try one, and I just looked. I looked at it, <laughs> and I was not, like, "No, nah, they were not pops. No, we couldn't get them to 
go. But it was very funny because really we tried bad. it twice. And I do remember signing. You know, we filmed that, I think, in like a last, I don't know, in November or December. And I do remember signing at AVN in January. And like this like housewife looking mom, you know, somebody who you isn't your typical porn customer mm-hmm. um, came up to me at the, you know, she waited online in my line of fans and, and, you know, and she said, I just want to say, I watched your, <laughs> your cooking show. And it really made me feel good because I tried to make cake pops for my daughter's birthday and I failed. <laughs> yeah, see, so watching this show will make you feel better Something about yourself. I never thought I'd hear at a porn convention. <laughs> Um, that the, is so sweet. Yeah, and, and that's like, when you knew that we had to continue. <laughs> that's what I knew. We really had something special. And you know, I I have, and I mean, this is very rare. I am really not known at all in the public world. I am very under the radar kind of human, um, despite my very long performance <laughs> career. <laughs> but. Um, I have been recognized in the street, like, not very much, but, like, I'd say, like... like at least three times. At like, like, three times. Like, someone has stopped me in the street and be like, are you Sarah from Cooking in Brooklyn? <laughs> like, I'm not... Like, I literally was, uh, like, wait, it's, what? <laughs> Did I hear correctly? It's already becoming a cult favorite. <laughs> Which is bizarre. I mean, that is crazy. But I, I'm like, wow, I guess, I guess people watch this. <laughs> and we do have a really good time doing it. Yeah. Um, And it was, you know, it's special to me because I remember when I was, you know, moving back to New York, I thought it would be fun for us to um, to do something together um, on. And here we are um, doing things together. But that's, you know, whatever. Everybody go check that out. um, I think we're fun. I think we're fun. But let's talk about um, everybody always is so curious porn stars and families Mm -hmm. and you know people really just seem to have a hard time understanding that we're human that we're human (laughs) and have families and siblings right and i know it's really hard to believe right and And you two have been close yeah your whole life pretty much Uh, so sarah what what was it like growing up with me (laughs) well like (laughs) honestly for every sarah is my best friend in the whole world like i i would i I'm like, you know, I I don't like being apart from her for too long. And I think it was it was like the world was back rotating on the on the right axis when I moved back to New York. Like, you know, I just I always felt like a part of me was missing when we lived away from each other. But anyway, I just want to. It's very important. So take us back a little bit, Sarah, to like, (laughs) you know what I want to actually hear about is when Joanna started doing porn, did Mm -hmm. she like talk to you yeah, about I, it did I you have did you did you know like, like hey did she say hey i'm gonna start doing this i'm thinking about mm-hmm. you know fucking someone on a rooftop in brooklyn in front of a bunch of hipsters with a camera on <laughs> um or or did you f- have to find out sort of down the road um you know it's funny people ask me this all the time i feel like it's my most frequent question of when people find out that i have my sister's support so we may as well like, get it out yeah we way. might as well get yeah. it out yeah way. um well, first of all, Joanna and I weren't really that close when we were young, young, because we're seven years apart. Mm. Uh, so when I was young, I was just like the annoying sister that would just like, just, yeah, would just like. We um, have memories, though. Of, yeah, you know, yeah. Like I took you to concerts. And oh, stuff yeah. Like no, that. that was when I was getting like a little older. But I guess okay. it took a little bit of time. You're right. For us we to did. kind of find our. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, friendship. Yeah. It wasn't that I, mean, though, right? Well, no, just, no, 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 yeah. no. I mean, maybe like when I was young, young. But like, Why, yeah. what's a mean memory you have? I don't. Well, oh, <laughs> I mean, I don't know. They're just like funny ones. Like not yeah, nothing like mean. mean. Well, like, and it's funny to think of now. Um, my first ever CD that I bought was Britney Spears' "Baby One More Time," and Classic. I remember. Joanna was so angry at me when she saw I had that CD because she was like, Cause Sarah, you-, you are not listening to shitty music. My <laughs> sister. Bad. I'm sorry, Brittany. Yeah, I, I know. love you. I know. And, you know? and I will you say are, history are... proved me right. Right. Exactly. <laughs> but, 
I but, wanted you to be punk. Uh, yes. And you were like, Sarah, you have to listen to Mighty Boston. You have to listen to Rancid. To, like, I will not, my sister will not listen to this garbage. And well, I, at the time, Britney was like, well, yeah. You know, I mean, she was, po- yeah, yeah, she like, was pop. She was music. mainstream. Now like, it's like yeah. she's almost like, like the fringe mainstream. Yeah. I don't know. Whatever. Whatever, whatever you want to call yeah. it. Uh, but yeah, like, and I remember you, and I had to like kind of hide the fact that I liked in sync or like, mm-hmm. I don't know. I remember like, not having to say that and I remember you stole it like you took the like it's eventually true. you took and I think you gave it to your friend I think I did too. yeah and I remember I was looking for it and I was scared <laughs> to ask you because I didn't want you to know that I was listening to it but I'm like where is my CD and I'm like you can have this yeah and I think you were like it's here's like- the Weezer album and st- <laughs> And, you're just, and I'm like, what the hell? Like, like I don't want to listen to this. You're like, I, I don't know. Did you sell it? Did you give it? I don't know. You what know you what? Did. I don't know what I did. Um, but it was gone, and I was like, Joanna, it's not very nice. Well, it's nice I, to be. I, but, I um, you know, I wanted you to be like cool punk yeah. rock or something but i did I end guess, up listening to good music so what you did i did, I did. I yeah did. You did i mean you, you steered me in the right direction you steered you in the right direction and you found you know <laughs> i'm sure there was still plenty of britney spears you could listen to <laughs> but yeah uh, then later in life joanna's like telling me about pop stars and like recent like i don't know and i'm like oh joanna's is so stupid it's right so i feel like circle. it really kind of right. came full it's circle it's true i guess i listened to more do I listen? I guess a lot of those Aaron. I mean, I yeah, li- use I, Aaron likes yeah. a lot of pop, and then I started to. Am, you know, how do you not like it? It's just like around you. It's um, it's not a guilty pleasure if you don't feel guilty. Exactly, yeah. you don't right. have to feel guilty. I'm very proud of my uh, love for pop music. Yeah, Taylor, for Taylor Swift. I mean, and I and it's grown on loves me. Taylor Swift. You know, how do you not like pop music? It's music that's it, just made that's for me- your yeah. ears. Mm-hmm. Um, but anyway, but okay, anyways, so, we we digress. So right. fast forward. Yeah. So fast forward, 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 forward past the Britney Spears CD. Yeah. <laughs> not, now we're recovered from that. However, but we both, you know, I I did introduce you to, to great Blink, bands. to Blink One Eighty Two. Oh yes, you did. And and what I thought was really cute. Let's just fast forward to the end of the story, and then we'll get in. <laughs> To the other story, I remember taking you to the the pop disaster, the pop disaster tour. tour, and I believe it was what your know, like 18th birthday or 2005. something. Two thousand five. I don't right. know if yeah, or was it four? I don't. know. I think I was like seventeen, eighteen. Yeah, eighteen. We'll say eighteen. And then you know now, and then taking you to see Blink One Eighty Two. Yeah, a couple I months know, ago. and I cried. Yeah, and, and I, I think that was actually the first episode of our podcast. Also, remember, I came here and. And we talked about the dog collar. Oh, yeah. Butt was stuff and Blink-182. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Classic. It was the first episode, second classic episode. Classic first episode. Yeah. Anyway. D- you so, know, and it was really cute that I knew I took you. You know, it was, And I think it was your first like. Oh, and you took me to like Allentown, Pennsylvania. We went to see Blink and AFI there. I don't know. Did we? we? Yeah. yeah. It was, it was, it was way back. Fun stuff. Sarah, Anyways, I, okay. I imagine you've probably had a few <clears throat> firsts with Joanna. Yes. Um, that sounds perverted. You could that could mean a lot of things like okay. your first cheeseburger, first <laughs> first like Brazilian blowout or whatever they call. It. What do you do? Yeah. Blow, Brazilian blow dry? Blow no, we, I've what's never the, gone in a Brazilian. Blowout, what's the hair? Place? But it is called um, a Brazilian blowout. I'm not, I'm not cr- dry bar. Dry oh. bar. Yeah, I've never yeah. actually been to dry oh. bar. Yeah, that's a recent. Oh. Um, well, anyway, okay. anyway, so let's okay. go back anyway, to your original so question. Now we're a little older. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So Joanna started doing porn. Well, okay. First of all, I always, what I kind of explain to people when they ask me, like, oh, what's it like having sisters a porn star? Um, it was like you were a little different in that you were kind of more of a snowball into porn. Like, I, it was more just like you eased the family into it <laughs> by kind of going through the steps. And you're right, I think, you're right. Because like, I was just naked you didn't on just the like, internet yeah, first. You're you didn't right. just like pick up, move to LA and start sucking dick. Like, you're right, I didn't. Yeah. <laughs> like you eased. <laughs> right, because at first Burning Angel was just photos. Yeah. Um, so first you were like- were you the, in college when I started? I don't I was you, in high school. You were in high school. So okay. but, I don't, I no, don't no, actually I know. remember. Okay. okay, but I know like it started with you strip like and i remember that was the big uh that was the big uh scandal in the family when and you knew about i this. knew about it before i believe i, I it's hard to remember uh, like my parents didn't know and i remember you were telling me like sarah like i got a job at a strip club and i get paid so much more <laughs> than at <laughs> i don't Apple know Bees Raff- or whatever Rafferty's or yeah, whatever yeah. the fuck you're working at and, and like as a server and then you're like 
I like and like I know a month later you were buying a car. You were, you know, like you and you were excited about it. You actually you really loved that job. I did love and, stripping. And, and I remember document. like you talk and and eventually like it kind of like my dad's like, oh, well, Joanna seems to be doing well. <laughs> she must be picking up extra shifts at She's Applebee's. She's not asking me for money. And <laughs> not getting as many like overdue bills in the mail. Uh, so uh, I think that it was kind of like a question of what's she doing these days? Um, and I think that kind of ended up, I, I, I don't remember, but like that kind of came out and then it was like a big deal. But then and you were telling me like it's actually really empowering and it's really awesome and I don't know I, I you were kind of like opening my eyes to that world in a way where I was like oh like Joanna really loves it and I remember like telling my friend like not being like my sister is a stripper but like just being like like if you hear people like kind of like mocking strippers or mocking uh that kind of world or that kind of life like just, like I remember like telling people be like actually my sister does it and she like finds it to be the most empowering job she's ever had like as a server you're you're yeah. treated like shit. You are treated <laughs> like, like and shit. You have to just take that. Like as a stripper, you you like are you command the room and you can decide who you talk to and who you don't talk to. I don't know. It was it was interesting to me. And then and so there that was it I was wasn't like, like a dark time, like oh my sister's yeah, getting a porn yeah. and she's you know and she, yeah. You know, I yeah, remember you like you were kind of excited about become it. Become a happier person. Yeah, exactly. You know? And you were kind of like figuring yourself out, and I, it was just interesting to kind of like you were telling me about it in this like exciting way. Um, and then you talked about like the website, and the, again the website was just like a, a, a not a porn site. It was a music. You were interviewing bands, and then also you had naked girls. So it was like kind of this exciting thing that you told us about. Um, but like it, the porn thing wasn't it was kind of secondary at that at the time well, maybe it wasn't to you but right, right, the way right. that you I, explained I, it to I me would, I, yeah there was a lot of things about Burning Angel that wasn't porn that I found to talk about with the family yeah. I guess there was it was almost I would just like leave it out I'd say know? in the beginning it it to me it sounded more like like half music half girls yeah to me I don't a, know yeah it was yeah, um, I, that, that's so, a, that was a yeah. whole other time. Yeah, it but, was a yes. whole other time. It was before you decided to do the video. So I remember like hearing about that and thinking that it sounded cool. Like, like oh, Joanna gets like the press passes to the Warp Tour and like you were able to get like that. <laughs> and like when you eventually like I, I remember like you would tell me before we told like you it came out to our parents. So like I remember like kind of holding that information, but not thinking it was like that big of, it was like well you know yeah she has naked girls she also does stripping you know like so i feel like it kind of you again like led up and led up to it so yeah i didn't really think of it as like kind of like this huge scandalous thing i just thought it was like oh my cool sister's getting naked and also inviting me to warp tour that day <laughs> <laughs> not bad <laughs> Uh, yeah, and for also the, for like, those who didn't know, in the earlier days of Burning Angel, and actually it stuck around for a very long time. Um, there were band interviews on the website. Um, yeah, and there were, and yeah, I remember, and, and I did them all, and I would go yeah. to shows, and I would interview bands, and and it was a lot of fun. Yeah, um, it was a big part of the website. Wasn't it like one of the first like Burning Angel like uh, movies you released didn't have like a My Chemical Romance there interview. Is, yeah, it was like band interviews, yeah. band interviews, and and then there were porn scenes. That was the very first Burning Angel movie, and we called it BurningAngel.com, the movie. And yeah, Boom. and there's a very early My Chemical Romance interview. Why did I even say that out loud? Because I think um, it's, uh, uh, anytime somebody brings it up, I'm like, it's, you don't have to, I know it's cool to talk about. You can go look for it. It's like kind of a terrible, awkward interview. Like they're so awkward. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm so awkward. <laughs> and this was like start before film quality was good. And it, yeah. it just, you know, it's like, it's cool that it happened. You don't have to go out of your way to find it. And now that I'm mentioning it, I'm sure. Will. That but yes, will. it's out there. It exists. Every once in a while, somebody will bring it up to me. Um, yeah. So Sarah, you never yeah. thought. You, you always thought this was cool. It was like, Joanna's yeah. doing cool shit. Yeah. And then I know that, like, when he, she started the website, even, like, my dad didn't really... He was like, okay, you're starting a business. Like, I don't know. My, my family kind of saw it, saw it as you starting a business. Yeah. Like, no one really knew what it was actually <laughs> becoming. Yeah, I kind of would avoid that. I, yeah. yeah. I do remember when I told dad about the website, and then the next day, he's like, you didn't mention that you were also on the website. Yeah. And I was like, well, I, I left that out. Yeah. Um, because, like, you know, he's okay. like, oh, cool. My daughter has yeah. a website. And then goes to click on it. He's like, 
huh? Like, yeah. You maybe should have I guess I was him. like, my dad doesn't know how to use the internet. He's never going to go look for this. Yeah. You know? And then he's like, what's the name of the website? And I kept like saying it wrong. You're like, don't worry. Yeah. yeah. At some point, you know. You, but wait, early wait, on. You were saying it wrong? What What I, were you telling You know, me? I don't remember. I don't know. I think she, you were I was just like, like burning like... something. We're still deciding on a name. I yeah. don't know. I just I kind of circumvented yeah. it. Yeah. Um, yeah so yeah at a certain point I think and then then I think like later on I don't remember how much longer after was it a year I don't know where like you started to kind of like I would hear through the your conversations or just kind of like it I don't know secretive conversations (laughs) of like we're gonna release a video like (laughs) this is a big deal like you know and then I'm just like I don't know like I don't know what to think like it's just like huh all right. Well, like, you know, so I feel like it, it kind of prepared me. I didn't realize that you were going to go full blown porn. But I think like it at the time, kind of the steps made sense. <laughs> like it, it was just like, I was like, OK, yeah, I guess Joanna is now going to, you know, have sex on camera. All right. Well, that's her thing. <laughs> Like, I don't know. It was it was just weird when all of a sudden it was just became the reality. And then it was like more just like the family kind of not knowing, then kind of knowing and then knowing. knowing. (laughs) And then the the family gatherings at Thanksgiving became a little more awkward where I I do remember when, like, you know, it finally started to get out uh, and like family members be like, I remember when one of our family members like kind of confronted you and been like hey like i'm a feminist i don't know i think she was like i'm a feminist and this is really messed up what you're doing and then you're like well i'm a woman and i want to do it yeah <laughs> <laughs> and like i, I said i respectfully disagree yeah you know, I, I so you had to stand up for Joanna yeah i sometimes. did i did have to stand well, up yeah, for was Joanna. there situations where you had to stand up for me yeah I mean, I had to just, well, a lot of what I said was, well, she chose to do this. She didn't, um, like, you know, she wasn't, like, down on her luck and then tried to pursue acting or tried to go down this route and then was like, well, I guess I'll do porn. Like, you know, she didn't, it wasn't a sad story, which a lot of people picture porn as a sad story. And and to you, it wasn't sad at all. It was like, I'm going to do this. And, And I don't know, it was actually a very empowering story. And I did think it was kind of important important to explain that to people um, because I felt like I had to kind of use it as a preface where if people ask me what like oh what does your sister do or if like people asked about it I'd be like well she's she does porn but she owns a company and she chose like this is her career you have to like like, give a bunch of disclaimers yeah you have to give a disclaimer because people think of it as like this oh god poor thing and it's like is she okay is she okay and it's like no actually like this was what she wanted to do and she did it (laughs) and she gets to choose the people and she gets to choose her crew and she's has her own company i don't know and like and then when you explain it that way it was like oh well that's really fucking cool and i'm like i know right did you (laughs) now now be honest sarah did you at any point Point, ever even for a moment think maybe I'll go in the go down this path as well because obviously <gasps> you're sitting here you haven't, I think you, that you haven't done porn but you know you, you're yeah. seeing Joanna she's making money she's kind of yeah. you know living this rock star lifestyle especially when she, she moved to LA um, at any point where you like hmm maybe I should like hop into this you or, know, or was it just always like? Well, that's it was. Friend. I know that's that's our parent. That was always our parents' biggest fear. Yeah, like yeah. I think because I was always sort of the bad kid, or that something like, that yeah. they were like, "All right, we we like lost her a long time yeah, ago." Yeah, anyway. yeah. And it's like <laughs> I know that that was always like, our, and you were like, you were the baby. You know, I think I think it was dad, like the biggest fear that I would go down. Yeah, and, like, and then it was please. like, oh, if she gets a tattoo, then she'll yes, also do. Porn. That was the funniest thing when you got a tattoo. What was it? Was it mom? Yeah. And she yeah. She's like, now she's going to get into porn because she just associates yeah. tattoos with me she does. and then associates me now with porn. So when so, Sarah got a tattoo, she's like, first step tattoo, next step porn. <laughs> she did. Yeah. She thinks wow. they're synonymous. She got, yeah. Well, it was the tattoo people that brought you to porn. Yeah, I know. I, I mean, I think my mom will always... <laughs> Or our mom. Well, I'm saying my mom next to you. Our mom will always be looking for a scapegoat yeah. of who oh, got she, me into yeah, porn. Yeah. And, you know, 
And I think she's the just like people. She just yeah, the tattoo people because she's like, oh, she got a tattoo, and then suddenly she wants to do porn. Like these people who tattooed her told her to do porn. <laughs> yeah, that is no, like, I know. She always wants mom. to think of like who was the person that changed your yeah. Who can I be mad at? Yeah, and yeah. unfortunately, that person is me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you like, never yeah. envisioned so, it for yourself. Okay, though. so I never. Well, okay, I never wanted to have sex on camera. Mm. Um, um, I will say I always envied and was jealous of Joanna. Oh, stop. Why? What do you mean why? Because you had the coolest life. I remember always being jealous where I'm like, man, I want to be as pretty as her or I want to be as popular as her or I want to be famous on the Internet or I want to be this. And like, I don't know, like I always looked up to you as like, like, yeah, envious, like wishing that because I always wanted to be cool. Like, <laughs> I was just so funny. Well, Joanna, because okay. I'm not cool. <laughs> well, here's the thing is that even like pre porn, pre whatever, Joanna was always cool, like in school school like in high school like people liked her like even though you were like you you took yourself out of the equation because you're like fuck all you people i'm punk yeah <laughs> like yeah. like you were but people liked you and they like you were like liked you just kind of were like fuck you like you Which chose probably made that. people yeah. like yeah, her yeah, even yeah more. exactly like and 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 she was always very pretty like i mean i know like i'm just <laughs> saying like I was like the ugly duckling that oh, kind of had to it. turn into something. The swan that you are. Yeah, the day. swan that I am now. Yeah. Uh, but like it was always like. So I, you were yeah. more uh, envious of like the lifestyle. Yeah, but, I was envious but you of her weren't, life. But you weren't thinking about like, oh, that work sounds exciting yeah, to me. Exactly. Right, okay. I was envious of her lifestyle. Like I always wanted. That. Like and I remember when you would come visit, I would always try to like dress like you or I'd try to like you, have you you take me shopping and you'd try to have me dress like you. And then I would like look like I'm wearing a costume or <laughs> like my stomach was like sticking out. And you're like, well, Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> Like, I don't know. It was like, you remember when you tried to take me uh, prom dress shopping and it was like you took me to all like these, I don't know, like trash and vaudeville. Or, like, yeah, I was like, trying to like, take you to like, I took stores. you to trash and vaudeville. I'm like, <laughs> and and I don't think I can, yeah. I was like, I don't think I, I can wear to look like a cool alternative girl at the prom. Well, you know? that's but what yeah. I, well, I wanted that too yeah, until I, I was like, this, this stuff doesn't look good. This stuff you. doesn't look good on It's me. like a short dress with safety And then like you would wear the same thing and you would look so cool in it. And then I'd be like, man. <laughs> Why don't I look like that? <laughs> well, I actually remember I thought it was really beautiful, you know, because when I moved to L.A. and then you went away to college and then after college you moved to New York. And then, you know, there'd be like long periods of time where we wouldn't really see each other. And then I, I remember I would come back or I remember I actually remember the first time I came to visit you when you were living in New York. Um, I was like, oh, my God, like Sarah is like is like her own person like you have a whole you had a whole sense of style and music you listen to if anything that had nothing to do with me yeah and it was like a little like and if, if anything oh. sarah kind of became the cool <laughs> i mean because i remember when me and joanna first started dating the way she would speak about you as my cool sister in oh, new york really? Like she's an opera singer, she's a burlesque. You know, she's so she's so New York, so cool, so New York. And I hated, I didn't think anything in LA was cool. Yeah. So, <laughs> so my first impression of you, Sarah, was you were the hip, the cool sister. Oh, that's yeah. so awesome. Well, that makes so me look happy. At, look at how that all just look comes at how that comes circle. full circle. I was like, yeah. she full bloomed into a hipster. I know. I was like, I didn't really consent to that. <laughs> But like, it's pretty cool, yeah. you know, yeah. and like you got like your piercing. I had nothing to do with yeah. it. I always thought I would take you to get your first <laughs> piercing, you know, and like you just like bloomed and you became you became like your own your own person. Yeah. Um, and then it was like we could actually like be friends, learn, be friends. Yeah. And this wasn't like other. me teaching yeah. you things or showing you things. It was like you could actually teach me things, mm -hmm. you know, and and um, and we could really. Be I do really remember and I remember that when you visited New York for the first time and feeling that where I'm like, oh, Joanna's like like we're we're like equal we're yeah. equals in yeah. a way like, you know, we can be regular friends. And I think up until that point, it was always me seeking guidance or me like like looking up to her as more of like a. Uh, like uh, the leader of the of the pack you mm -hmm. know and where i'm just like what do i do now or like you know like kind of just seeking guidance and then all of a sudden i'm like oh we can just 
like I mean, which we still seek each other's guidance, but I think it's more like now we're kind of yes. on your own kind of. Oh, a, no, actually, a now I'm yeah. a disaster, and you help me out all the time. <laughs> you are like my life savior. Aww. But was there ever a time, Sarah? Now that you know, Joanna's in LA. Shit's full on. You know, porn is is here. Joan, this is Joanna's life. Were you ever? Because so far it seems like everything has been very positive in like your reaction. Were you ever war- like? Were you ever like that's too much, Joanna? Or like, <laughs> whoa, like hold on, what the fuck? Like, I mean, yeah, I would get worried, and I think that I get uh, like now that she's near me, <laughs> I'm I well, I still worry, but <laughs> <laughs> but like I don't know, I'd get really angry when you would uh, I don't know chain like do the plastic surgery stuff I or know, do very, always, I can like, never uh, tell. Were you Sarah. mad about the boobs? Oh, she was so mad about it. I was so mad. She was so mad. I cried. It. Yeah. Did you really? I cried when she told me she. Well, that was when we were in Chiripo. Yeah, we went when, on a big hike. We together. went on a big hike in Costa Rica. Yeah, Costa Rica. Explain. Oh God, Chiripo. that is like we need another hour. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> no one wants to hear about yeah. the Costa Rica. Hike. But it was funny because that was a big transitional moment in my life I had just sold Burning Angel and I wasn't sure where to go next you know and I didn't know what was going on and and I, and I remember that around this time me and Sarah went on this big hike and I wanted to kind of like in search Rica, for myself right? and yeah. Sarah was in a, a, a weird time in her life yeah. too and we're like we're gonna find we're gonna ourselves. find ourselves we're gonna like take a step so back you're... and then at the end of the hike I was like Sarah I'm gonna get tits she's like that's what you thought about <laughs> well yeah that's... so after three days of hiking through the rainforest like... you're on a mountain and you look over to Sarah and you're like, I really need some tits. Yes, that's, that's basically like what, happened. what I said. And I it said. well, it was after the three days, and we like had to kind of like figure out what the fuck we were doing with this hike and and why we were doing it and kind of <laughs> looking with it. And then I remember like at the hotel after after the hike, you were like, I'm gonna get tits. And I was like, Joanna, what? <laughs> Thinking I was gonna have some fun. Like, that's what you're that taking away. Okay, yeah. And that was her epiphany. And I was like, why? Oh, like, that's so stupid. And and I got really upset. Um, and I know that when Joanna tells me something that she wants to do that I don't agree with, I've learned that there's nothing I could say or do that will change her mind. I know that yes. very well. So once very she well. says it, I can disagree. I can argue. I can tell her. I can list every single reason why it's not a good idea. And she will 100 percent go get it. Go, yeah. go, whether it's boobs or anything else. Right. Um, you like but, the boobs now, though, right? You're cool with them? I mean, I, oh. I, I didn't love the... You just made a face. You, you did the extra thing after. Uh, she, well, she went even bigger. She went oh, even yeah. bigger. Yeah, but I didn't know. I don't know. Is that... Uh, whatever. I, well, I, that's I, have that, my, I have my thoughts. <laughs> that was when fine. she looked over at me, and we had an Archer Poe moment where she was like, I need bigger tits. <laughs> and I was like... Yeah. Nothing I can say. Yeah. Or do. Well, I got really angry when she said you need bigger tits because I knew she was just going to do it. it there was right. nothing. There I was could no say. like I was already on my way. There. Yeah, you're already on your way. There. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, there was many times where like you would say that you were doing these surgery things or. I don't very... have that many surgery. Okay, everybody, I'm not like a. You okay. Know yes. Okay. You get, oh, like, right. Botox. Right. Yeah, lips. but I don't know. Like, what? What else? Did, whatever. Else, you're acting like I've gotten like more. The only like. I don't know. It okay. was when you started doing things. Yeah, I get it. I when get you started doing well, things. Well, I know you would it, say like you're becoming so LA and that is the biggest insult you could ever say to me. It would it would hurt me. It would dig deep. Like you could call me anything. I know, you'd but it like, didn't work. It didn't work. I and also, then you could say anything to me and you'd be like, you're turning into an LA person. I feel you're like because like, <laughs> the look, especially like in kind of mainstream porn is not like the New York hot. Yeah. Like New yeah. York hot is different than LA it's hot, like which a... is also porn hot is yeah. its own sort of aesthetic. Yeah. Which is what I would try to explain to Joanna when you were trying to attain this LA hot. And I'm like, Joanna, it's it's so different here. Like you don't you don't actually have to look that way or blah, blah, blah. And I mean, whatever. No, you and are a beautiful, all hot, all yeah. hot is hot. Like all we, hot, we yes, love, yes. We love it we all. We love all hot. It came from a, a like a beautiful place because you were just like, Joanna, I don't, I hope, like I don't want you to be insecure about yeah, yourself. Like yeah. Joanna, like why do you hate yourself? And yeah. like, I'm like I don't hate myself. I, I just, just want to do this. Tits. And then after a you while, know. I'm like, okay, you know what? This is something that makes you happy, and it's something you want to do. Also, it kind of changed our life in a big way because I remember you did a like a reveal on your OnlyFans, and 24 hours later, you were like, oh wow, 
Like my right. only my OnlyFans is like making okay a lot but more for money. For the record, for the record, because I get annoyed sometimes, which I get it that your boobs helped. It was the same month COVID hit. Like yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> the stars aligned. The stars I aligned. I had to rebrand myself. Yes. You know, know. because I, know. I remember, you know, it, it really the tits, okay, and the hike. <laughs> See what what I really meant when I tried to explain myself was <laughs> I really enjoyed that hike. Like I, when I think of like that, some of the happiest times of my life, I do think of our hike. Aww. And you can actually find it on YouTube. Well, well there's, there's a Chiripo the movie. Yes, it, it's called we. It's called Chiripo the it's movie. It's actually a right? really funny. And I remember I didn't it actually is. really put. Po- Maybe we should move it over to Cooking in Brooklyn. We should because at the time I was like, I don't really want to post like post this on Instagram because I don't want people like annoying my sister or I don't know and it was like a like a personal yeah. time I didn't want to like I don't know I didn't want my, but whatever now Sarah's on the internet um so whatever. you could look it up I think it's on YouTube we called it Chiripo the movie I mean it has like nine views that are like all from our dad I think, <laughs> yeah. right? like, like it's not oh, like I we didn't like promote like two it two of them are from me yeah. I think I can't remember if it was on my YouTube channel but I did get in a little bit of trouble with that oh well just okay I sent it to mom uh, the Chiripo the movie and I think it was on either on my channel or related to my channel because I have a channel where I have some of my burlesque performances <laughs> where I oh I do get like and there's one where I'm like dressed as like a um, babushka Jewish woman and then I strip down um and again, you have pasties on she has pasties I have pasties on, on. Yeah. and it's a performance art <laughs> Anyways, it's something that I really my mom never watches YouTube, so I was never like worried about right. her finding it. But so she watched the <laughs> Chiripo video and then after it Chiripo, just started it just playing, started right. like it was like, oh, you if you watch this, this you'll, you'll like, like this. this. And it just started playing my my Jewish papuska like burlesque. Like strip tease. Yeah, and mom <laughs> like lost her mind. She called me like 18 times and then she She's like, like it's the hiking people. <laughs> What? And then she like called my other sister and then my sister like Family called, emergency. Yeah, she Family called me emergency. and she's like, hey, Sarah, mom saw your burlesque video and she's very upset. And I'm just like, oh, my we God. just like, wanted to show her our hike. <laughs> so I had to take it down because I was like, oh, it my It sounds God. like she was more upset about that than all of Joanna's porn in like 20 because, years. Well, it was the fear like, oh, my God, Joanna I have another her. one. This is how it yeah, starts. This, I, yeah. The tattoo, start, the wait, hike. I know. And now she's stripping on the internet. Because Sarah, you keep making it sound like I'm, you know, the awesome sister or something. But it's very. We got to make sure we throw you under the bus. Yeah, throw me under the bus. No, I'm just saying you're you casually said, you know, babushka, bless, bless. That's very normal to say to people in New York City. But, you know, there's a lot of people who listen to the show. Oh. Mm-hmm. Why don't you explain your babushka burlesque show? Because I'm like, I'm yeah. like, yeah, yeah, duh. She's like a babushka and, you know, then her tits are out. And like, that's normal. Yeah. Because, but that's like, why don't you explain it? I actually, it? I haven't, I have not yeah. seen this. So why don't you explain it to me it's, too? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, if actually when um I did a burlesque, like, so I did the, like the alt burlesque scene in new york for actually quite some time and i dabble in it still but you know i need to pay bills and unfortunately it doesn't really pay many bills um but you, you over mean, covid I you think mean a lot uh, of things burlesque opera doesn't pay yeah, the bills well, you know that's who insane would have thought? who would have thought it's really upsetting and i think we're people... also learning the hard way that cooking poorly doesn't pay the bills yeah, either. Gotcha. yeah we're, and the basically any interest of mine doesn't pay bills <laughs> yeah so it's really <laughs> unfortunate well here we are <laughs> so so, so, but, but yeah, yeah so your burlesque it. shows in general. I mean, New York happens to have a really thriving yeah, burlesque and I, scene. And then where that's it's actually everywhere. where I found a lot of like my um, outlet for creativity and for performance. And I, I owe a lot to. And honestly, I owe a lot to. We have a shared very good late friend, um, DJ Jess, um, who Joanna introduced me to early on. Um, yeah, uh, he was. Yeah, and he hosted this awesome. Um, he was a legendary yeah, DJ a legendary party DJ. host. Yeah, um, and he hosted in this party in Webster Hall called Trash, uh, and it was in the basement of Webster Hall. And I remember that was like one of my first experiences of like, oh, this is the epitome of cool. This is where I want to be at all times. And Joanna really introduced yeah. me. When to you that. moved to New York, I was like, you should meet 
Jess. Jess. Yeah. And, you know, because I knew he he threw these fun parties. Yeah. And, and you know, with a lot of creative people. Yeah. There. And he had, and you know, he hasn't he had a million friends and and like a million things going on all at once. And and he still like carved out some time to um, write some music. Uh, with me and one of it was by Mir Bistu Shane which is the like this Yiddish old Yiddish uh, um, also the Andrew sister say it's a well known song what? Um, by Mir Bistu Shane Oh yeah, that one. I totally know it. <laughs> Backtrack more. Sarah yeah. did go to music school to sing. Yeah, yeah, I did sing opera. opera. So anyway. we did like kind of like a remix of it, an operatic uh, dubstep remix. Uh, he also helped me with this uh, "Ouvre ton cœur" by Bizet. It was like a French um, art song that we remixed, um, and I got to perform it at, at, for the first time at Trash. Um, uh, and it was fucking awesome. And it kind of jump started this idea where I'm like, oh, I don't have to go to these cattle calls where I'm waiting eight hours to sing 16 bars to get this part that I'm not going to get. <laughs> and that like, you know, my first. I remember I took you to one of those, right? Probably. Uh, to I be a Cosette in, oh, the, in Les well, Mis was, or something. I, I was like five. Yeah. <laughs> Were <laughs> that young? No, I was in like no. fifth grade. Or, I, was I was like, like Sarah, be up. rad if you got this. Let's yeah. try and get it. I, and I definitely like, didn't I don't, get it. I don't know if we're going to get it, Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> but yeah, so like I was, when I first moved to New York, it was like every day I would just go to audition after audition and I would never get to do the things I loved because I was just constantly Constantly, like just trying to get my foot in the door I'm like this sucks like I don't want to like and also it was trying to play a part of things that I didn't really like I didn't really fit into this niche of like the ingenue whatever people like Broadway people were, were looking for and also my voice is different I don't know anyways when when I saw this alt world that kind of was opened up to me um, I was like oh I can just go on a stage do the thing I love sing the thing I love um, and, and also like sing fucking opera, like, and make it cool. Like, because people don't think of opera as something that's cool because it isn't cool. When you go to see an opera at the Met, it's boring. It's four hours long. It's like, and, you, no and it's will... only really open to like very rich people. Yeah, exactly. And then it's part. like, oh, if I just sing opera on this stage and like also like look like sexy and do a strip tease, people will fucking like it. And people did. Yeah. It, like, And it also do, like it's very good with like getting people's attention. You know, it's hard to get people's attention in a nightclub. And like, I don't that know. That will do it. That will, that do, will it. do it. Tits and <laughs> opera. Um, and in one of the shows, you yeah. dressed like an old. Yeah. Yeah, so one of the acts, first. sorry, yeah. I guess I got, yeah. I digress. So one of the acts, I dre well, it was uh, for a Hanukkah show. Um, it was called the Menorah Hora. Um, <laughs> yeah, they did it at like um, Hammerstein Ballroom. Uh, and I needed a, a, you know, an act and I was, I did the By Mir Bis Duchesne because I was like, oh, that's kind of like a Jewy. Uh, oh, yeah, it's Yiddish. Um, and I wore like, like, I don't know what, but other than saying a babushka look, like where, you know, you have the Like a Jewish grandma. Yeah, Jewish grandma where you have the handkerchief over the head. It's a particular like, type of grandma. Yeah, like a long <laughs> skirt. and It's more like a Russian. Yeah, like an old, you're right, yeah, like an, like old, an old Russian. And, yeah. and I had a menorah in front of me. And the thing that actually was, which I did tweak it after when I was like, I don't want to offend my people. Because I love, like, for the record, I love being Jewish. I love Judaism. I mean, we're very complicated with our love for it but like i i do really you know i never it's a want part of you there yeah, you go that's a part of me. Ah, that's a there you go that's thank you so that's, sarah comes out on stage I, yeah. dressed like that and and then i stripped down and i had these little judaica stars on my head <laughs> <laughs> and i i uh yeah i stripped down and, and at some point the outfit is is gone but there's pasties there are pasties and i wear you know i'm i'm i, I try to be classy God, about this it interview is going to come out in these things on youtube that have like 20 views yeah. have like 8 million so uh, yeah so uh, but i do i do remember there and like the initial ones i'm i'm reading from a prayer book and i actually it was the first time i ever got a um a complaint like someone i i performed and i remember i performed it at a at a club in the in midtown or something and somebody wrote to the producer and said, I am, as a Jew, I'm offended that she had a prayer book on stage um, to do her act. And I was really, at first I was upset because I was like, I don't want to offend the people. Like, I am I am the people. But up, then I grew up around a lot of prayer books. Yeah, and because I didn't really think, then I was like, afterwards, I was like, hey, like, 
I got a complaint. That's actually like. <laughs> You've really made it. Like yeah. somebody thought about me after they left. And wrote a yeah. letter. And wrote a letter. Yeah. <laughs> Takes, you, brought, you, you occupied a lot of their, their you the space Karen in their out. mind. Yeah. yeah I Karen'd them out. <laughs> um, so did, and, did yeah. you ever talk to your mom about this okay, performance? Okay, so I know. So both of us, as you can see, we, tr- we, yeah. we really well, veer is, off that's topic. Podcasts that's what podcasts are. are. <laughs> but I just yeah, had, I you just said I did a Jewish babushka act, and I was like, maybe you should explain it to everyone. Yeah. It is a pretty cool thing. Yeah, so yeah. I did, um, well, actually, and then our mom I, found it. I avoided when it. When she was looking at our She hike. called me like a million <laughs> times. I didn't answer. Then she left a bunch of messages about it, and I was like, oh, I'm definitely not calling her back. <laughs> <laughs> and then Rebecca called me, or sorry, I, that's okay. our sister, I don't know. We have another sister. Yeah. <laughs> Our other sister called me and it was like, you got to talk to mom. She's driving me crazy. <laughs> Until I eventually just was like, mom, I'm sorry. It was a thing I did a long time ago. I'm taking it off the internet. Um, don't worry about it. And, and, <laughs> and, was... then, and then basically, I think she kind of railed off for a little bit. And then she, I think she kind of just forgot about it. And then all you right. got a tattoo a few years later and it was just like all downhill. Yeah. So it's like she definitely does porn. <laughs> um <laughs> But yes, so we showed our mom the Chirpo. Chirpo is the name of the hike we did in Costa Rica, Mm. the hike that made me want to get boobs. Yeah. But to backtrack way back, I will say I was, I just, you know, at that time I was still a director Mm -hmm. um, and everything I did um, career wise required me to be on set in Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. Okay, and I did have a few friends at that time, not a ton because it was still the early days of it. A few friends at that time that were, you know, um, doing well on OnlyFans. And after and because of that, they didn't live in like Los Angeles anymore. They left um, because they didn't have to be like on set all the time anymore. Mm -hmm. And, you know, anyway. I had a really good time on that hike. It was actually one of the greatest times I've ever had in my life. And I was like, I want to go on more hikes with my sister. And I think if I get tits, <laughs> I can make money on only And then fans. we can do more and hikes. Then I can That's do where this story hikes. was going. That's where this went. That was why yeah. the hike. And I was like, I, I was like, I can't go on that many hikes needing to direct movies all the time. And I have to keep directing movies and going to set because I live in Los... Because that's, like, what I do. And then I was like, I want to move out of L.A. That was the first time I thought of it. You know, I was like, I, I want to leave L.A. And I think I could do it if I get tits. <laughs> and I guess you okay? achieved I was that like, goal. Look, look at us and now. And look at us now. Live and I did from it. New York, okay? baby. I got the tits and I was able to move. Okay? I manifested something in that moment and... I don't it was know. All thanks and to I'm Sharapo. not saying yeah. that everybody on OnlyFans have to has to have tits. tits. I just I knew I needed like a rebrand at that mm-hmm. moment. You know, people had known me as a certain thing and I needed to veer them in another direction. And I didn't know how to do that without tits. But I also did just really want them. It's true. Um, and, and my you know, my boobs were like but like like kind of like natural full C's. Which I know is like a good size, but yeah, I, I always it. thought you had like really uh, right. perfect boobs. Yeah, well, they but, were they were good but then. But it's and like they were bo- like I would yes. always they were like good wear then that's a correct. Yeah, good I would now. wear push up bras and stuff to squish them together when they were natural. So it's kind of like I was living life as a big titty person when, anyway. I remember I you used there. to buy tops that a lot of our friends with fake boobs had, and you're like, why doesn't this look look the same on me? Right, and then eventually we're like. Because it's they have the, fake they boobs. have yeah, giant and fake I, tits. And I had normal And you were like... It wasn't doing yeah. the same thing. It's almost like like if my boobs were like, you know, like A's, then that's different. Then you have a whole... So it's almost like I was living life as... Whatever. It doesn't matter. I just wanted to explain to you... <laughs> she just was, wanted boobs. Yeah, I wanted yeah. boobs, but I just wanted to explain to you why the hike led to boobs. Right. And it you was know, really... I wanted boobs to go on... I've, to spend I've more time with my family. With it. <laughs> The tits were to spend look at more how time far Sarah Joanna with my will family. go for you. She will go so far for yeah. you uh, that she won't get tits to make money than to take you on more hikes. Yes, that's so and so really you got the tits for me. Yeah, yeah, kind of. That's very that's very Tit, beautiful. Tits for the family. Yeah, it was tits for the family. So you know, I I really appreciate Didn't you, that. I know. I remember you had an interesting story. There was like two things I wanted to talk about. Um, and then we Who are you? Are you you're looking I at me. I do remember yeah. 
you had well it's happened a few times you had like a like a like, tell me about situations. You've had a few unique situations where you were like dating someone and they started to like, one guy got like very rude about me. And there was another guy. He was like pressuring to like ask you a bunch of questions about me. Yeah. Well, I ha- it has happened to me where like this one person I dated in college who's really a poof. Uh, oh, right, that guy. Yeah, that yeah, guy. He's like, he had he's quite a, a demise. Yeah, yeah. We, should have, we should do a whole episode on him. He's uh, yeah. It turned you know, out to be a real. I think he's like a murderer now, basically. Well, kind of. Kind of anyway, of, anyways. Whole other story. Save it for the next episode. <laughs> Ooh, that was, that was, yeah. Led to right, but how did? Things. But anyway. Um. Anyways, this really awesome guy. Um. That, that I was seeing. Um. It, so I. He actually kind of found me because he was a fan of Joanna. Oh, my God. Um, and he found out that his, her sister goes to our call, like the college. And I happen to be kind of in the same circle, like a similar circle of friends as him. Wow. So it, it, I think he, there was like kind of this realization and like Joanna Angel's sister goes to school here. Oh, and she's like kind of like, you know, she's friends with my friends or whatever. Mm. And um, <laughs> and and I remember like kind of also like thinking he was, I don't know, whatever. I met him he and was thought handsome. he was like handsome yeah. or whatever. It didn't matter. But he specifically did seek me out. Oh, the, you know what? I never knew that. Yeah. I remember there was something weird that happened. What and did then, you ask me about? Well, and, and then like I remember like uh, like as like a I'm like oh it's a, and I tried to make like oh it's funny like you're a fan of my sisters and now like and I didn't really think much of it but then I realized after the fact I was like oh you like sought me out because of that or I don't it was just like so like the fact that someone would. <laughs> Do that? What like that's so that going weird. To it's almost and like, well, I can't date Joanna. Yeah, I can't so date Joanna. Date so, her oh, her sister is like right around the corner. Um, why don't I just that's try some, that? That's some so, weirdo behavior. Yeah, and I remember like just like for his birthday, we like you. I was like, oh, can you send him some DVDs? But like none with you in it. <laughs> <laughs> like I was trying to be a good girlfriend, yeah. I guess. Or like I think and Joanna's like, like, I'm in all of them. Yeah, yeah, I think you gave him like some like signed poster or whatever. And I'm just like, what is this? so weird um yeah i don't know it was just like people would i I don't know want to talk to me because they find out i'm your sister and they want to get through to you through me (laughs) and it's like what like what are you doing here yeah (laughs) like like what are you trying to yeah i know what they're trying to achieve but (laughs) you're like i'm in college in indiana and my sister is in los angeles but yeah and like people how did you think yeah yeah and like people will mess so fucked up it's really fucked up and he ended up being like way more fucked up than that but you know that was just the beginning of it and i don't know like there will be people that will like reach out to me if they can't like it's like oh well you're she's not been responding to me so i'm just gonna get in touch with you and like let you know that you should tell your sister about this thing i, I don't know like people will try to oh, like business opportunities, be business and opportunities stuff when they try to like yeah. message me and i don't answer them and yeah. you're like you know because, the next person yeah. like <laughs> they're like well tell I, I get some of those sometimes too. yeah, yeah. Oh, i wish we had we got one email i should have brought it in to read oh, it was, would it be that hard to pull up it was so weird what was the email we got i don't know i guess was it some sent to ones. you it was after the first cooking in brooklyn yeah aired. and yes. he said that he wanted us to film together yes he, he had a proposal <laughs> yeah yeah <for> <laughs> and it was was it sent to you yeah Did he find i think your, he found my he found well, i found it because on my website it had my had my email and I took it down. <laughs> okay. It was an email to both of us, I think. Yeah. Or was it just to I don't you? know. I don't know, but we both read it and it was a whole proposal. About. And it was like, hi, I make films. Yeah. You no, know, he wanted to put you in a movie. But you and, were in it too. Yeah, we were both in it. He wanted to film us together. It was he like was going to make you a star. Yeah. What the, what yeah. the yeah. hell? He, and he was pitching it like, 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 hey, I'm doing this shoot on this day, like booking it like it's normal. Like, yeah. So why didn't yeah. you do it? <laughs> you no, know, I was busy that day. Uh, unavailable. It was, was such. Unavailable. Okay, I'm going to find the letter at some point. It was so weird. I mean, it I was phrased much it, but... weirder than I'm explaining it. Anyway. Anyway, speaking of weirder, should we. Pause to look at a, a really ugly penis With together. 
with my, with your sister sarah do you would you want to uh, raid a penis um you know side I get, by side I, you know, with I us get sent penises um oh on you get sent penises yes. i've heard this yeah <laughs> yes it's how you make uh, a living <laughs> <laughs> w- w- would you like to give your opinion? Yeah, on Sarah? I'd like for you to give. You know, your I can try to give my. Oh, oh my oh. God! What? The, that's not real. Yeah, no, it's real. That's not real. Yeah, Jesus! It looks like a a villain in the Marvel universe. Like this one. Uh, I, this like, one's particularly it, weird. Yeah. yeah, it's it it got electrocuted a little <laughs> bit. Uh, it's it is. I'm not you, like it's the veiniest penis. I've ever seen. There's veins on the in my head. Life. That's yeah. not. I mean, you, okay. For the record, possible. I will say it looks like he trimmed a little bit, which I I suppose I, I'll give him that. The grooming like, is respectable. How do you get that? Like the veins literally look no, like they're about terrifying. to pop out. Like something must be wrong. I like, I've never am, seen am veins very, on a head like that. I'm actually a little scared about it. Yeah. I, I don't know. Is there something like I I I would be. I would actually be scared if somebody um, if pull I was, that out, right? Pull that out, like it kind of looks like, like a. I don't know if I would be comfortable putting that um, <laughs> in or around you. <laughs> 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 it, it's just it, it looks like it would hurt. I, I don't know. Like, is it bumpy? But like, not hurt because it's too big. Or no, something. no, yeah, no. Hurt, like, like, like it's, it's. Uh, I don't know. Like, like it's evil. Like, like it's yes, evil. It looks yeah. like a penis wearing it like looks... a Freddy Krueger Halloween costume. Yes, it's wearing a Halloween. It's costume. wearing a, like a scary Halloween costume, like trick or treat. Oh, geez, that's Fucking terrifying. Spooky season over here. Yeah, I don't know. Um, this is where like maybe circumcision would have been helpful. I don't know. I don't think circumcision. Wait. That is not. I mean, there's I don't, just so much going on. I mean, on we need here. to get like the varicose well, yeah, vein removal flash, people on. Yeah, this, you know? he needs like, some kind of laser like, vein treatment. Is that a thing? Can you do that on the penis? I don't know if you can do that on the penis. I, you know, maybe he should check that I out. Also, I also, <laughs> I also don't know. Um, yeah, like it's and it's like the veins are much darker of a color than everything else. Yeah, and, and just, it gets thicker and darker as it. Go, it's higher and you would think you would yeah you're opposite. right you're why right. are there so many veins at the head why how are there so many veins at the head are oh, you maybe okay? because it's uncircumcised I, well i think the answer is no he's he's not, not okay. okay so there's okay. a problem is he okay. really mad does he have high oh blood yeah pressure? maybe he's, <laughs> he's like mm, oh like he... <laughs> like when the veins pop out <laughs> yeah, of your, your neck yeah. or your forehead and the penis like, is really mad yeah it okay. looks like an angry okay. penis so what would it uh, i oh yeah um, we got to give it a rating i mean it's terrifying it, it's scary i want to like i feel like i i'm scared and i want to give it a higher rating because i'm scared <laughs> Oh, like, <laughs> like some, like there's a gun to your head. Yeah, like if I gun. say you're a six, don't come after me. Like he's coming at me and he's like, oh, "What's my rating?" Like, <laughs> 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 and like it's looks like he's gonna like I don't know like uh, explode. Explode. <laughs> he's literally going. So what's to his explode. rating, Sarah? Oh man, um, uh, uh, shit. Uh, I don't know. Um, I'm don't gonna... be scared. You're going to be okay. We have you in a penis protection program. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Penis we have you in a pre- protection. I'm going to give it a, a PPP. <laughs> a a 4.3. Okay. That's a good that's a good rating. Is it's it? safe. Throw it's safe. throw the decimal in there to yeah. like kind of yeah. fuck with his I head like that because the penis is like an okay penis. It's the veins that are really what's frightening. I mean, it's a little a little shorter than um, maybe I would Ooh, Sarah. <laughs> Sarah the size queen. <gasps> Sarah, we had no who idea. Are you? Well, I don't know. I mean, I mean just a little <laughs> taller. I a little yeah. taller. I get it. Taller? Like a big taller? Yeah, you I think bigger. A, yeah, you want a bigger, bigger penis, Sarah. Yeah, it Fair. doesn't. I mean, it, it, I guess the, the girth seemed fine. Yeah. Um, okay. The veins were really. I, I'm terrified by the veins. But you know what? He gave it a try. He did give it a try. And he was intense. If you also want to be on this show and have us rate slash give our opinions on your dick you can submit to just the tips xo at gmail.com you can also if you're feeling very brave just drop it uh 
on our wall on Twitter, but you then can. but then the whole world, the whole world you know, will see it. You know, we'll but see it. Whatever, it's um, unsolicited. And so I'm, how I'm many penises does so, just the tips get? Oh, I Brian has a whole inbox yeah. of penises, <laughs> yeah, like few. like yeah. so many. Um, so but I like to take sorry, the ones Brian. from my OnlyFans. Uh, my heart goes out money. to you. Yeah, and, um, if, much yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and if you and if you don't want to spam Brian with uh, your dick in the you email, did? you can also spam Joanna's OnlyFans. Yeah, you can on my OnlyFans. You can leave mm-hmm. a tip and then get a rating. Mm-hmm. What? Yeah. But wait, what? You didn't rate it. You're right. I didn't. I'm gonna give it a two. A two. Oh. And you said four point three. <laughs> You know what? I was going to say three. So we're all in this. Yeah. Oh, I guess I gave him the highest rating. Yeah. Well, you were scared. You were scared. scared. You were scared. Well, I didn't yeah. know what to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am new. Yeah. <laughs> After you see a few of these. Uh, yeah. I didn't want to be rude, but. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. It, you were scared okay. of him. And, and and like people do things when, when they're, they're scared. When they're like give them a slightly higher rating. <laughs> do we have any questions, Brian? Uh, we do. Just give me one second. Oh, sweet. Yeah. We'll have Sarah weigh in on this. You have a fun time. Two. I and Sarah, love this. Maybe me and Sarah will have a Cooking in Brooklyn podcast. Maybe. Okay. Well, Bradley asks okay. how, as a 40 year old virgin, he can get laid. Oh. He doesn't want to go see an escort. Yeah. Mm. I mean, well, that was going to be my first. Yeah, uh, I was going to yeah. say mm. that is Support the best. Why local... doesn't he want to go see yeah, an Yeah, maybe escort. I would think, like, get the first one out of the way with yeah. a professional. He you says, know? for some reason. He can't bring himself to do so. Aww. You're broke, right, Bradley? That's what it is. He doesn't have the money. He might have Should we might, start a GoFundMe? Yeah. <laughs> Get Bradley an escort. I um, mean, that's it. Or you maybe know. is there is there possibly like some sort of speed dating situation for ver- older virgins that you could Honestly, be a part of? Honestly, I think he could find someone out there who's going to find that really hot. Next year, he could come to Skankfest and join the SDR contest he could. where Ralph... Got somebody laid by Brenna McKenna. Look at oh, that. Look at See, that. there's options for you, Bradley. There are options. Don't give up hope. But he's, yeah. 40 is the new. I mean, that's 20. rough. It's rough. I mean, it's hard, but. It was a contest for worst life. So you just had to explain to the guys <laughs> oh how bad your life was. And, uh, and the winner got, a, got to have sex. And Brenna decided who she wanted to sleep that's with. That's awesome. Out of their story. Go, Brenna. That's so oh, cool. Yeah. yeah, that's a great contest. A I love thing. that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Aww. look at that, Bradley. There's so hope you could have you. entered that contest, yeah. but I feel like that he wants to like fall in love or something. I mean, well, I don't that know. you really can't force. I, yeah, yeah, you can't force it. Um, but Which I is, think yeah. you could find somebody out there who's gonna think that's really hot. You know, um, I think that's it's like I don't know. I I can't like sugar. I don't think it's gonna. You have to kind of lead with that. Like, that's something you need to explain to someone, like, on the first oh, date. Really? Do you? I don't know if you Do have you? to explain really? that on the first date. I don't know. I don't know. It's not I, like I, herpes. I mean, I, <laughs> although everyone has herpes. Yeah. <laughs> I guess, to be fair, when you're at, when you know, when you're a 40-year-old virgin, is there a great time to kind of, like, put that out there? Like, I feel like you just, there's not, like, an ideal time for that. Yeah, you know, I don't first know day, second right day, is. third day. At some point, you're gonna have to yeah. just sort of be honest. I would probably not bring it up on the first yeah. day if it was me. I'd probably wait huh. till things I progress. Think, a I little. think the the frustration is is that it, it ends up being on the forefront of your mind that I right. feel like you're not able to kind of be yourself. True. So yeah. maybe even just getting it out of the way could like actually take the edge like off. take the yeah. edge off or relieve some tension of like. Oh God! Is this gonna be uh, like? Is like, this like work? maybe maybe Bradley can find a fr- like a friend who who knows about his plight. I think and we'll Bradley, be like, yo, dude, let's just knock this out. But then Bradley might like fall in love with that friend. It's true. You, know? you always run that risk. I, I don't know, Bradley. I think you got you got to just do it. I mean, has he done all the dating sites? Has he done all the? Yeah, have you done dating sites? Or maybe there's got to be like somebody out there yeah. looking for a virgin. Like maybe like a woman who's just like sick of. Experienced you know, men. It, yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm so men, tired of these men who know what they're men, doing. There's got to be someone out there. No, there, it is you like, know, I right? think women are actually, like, there yeah. is actually, like, something hot about it. Because you, you can sort of mold and shape them and train Yeah, them. yeah. Right. I think there's got to be. love. Maybe enter into some Ooh. kind of BDSM I was going to say, maybe situation. he should find yeah. a dominatrix. Go on FetLife, you yeah. know, and say you want, like, a dominant woman to, to teach you know. Teach you the ways. Yeah. Teach you the ways. Yeah. 
I think you'll figure it out. Yeah, actually, that's a good idea. You're going to be okay, idea, Bradley. Right? You're going to be okay. I can see you're like genuinely concerned for No, him. I know. Yeah. I, I feel for you, man. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, and I, I would like you to reconsider the escort thing because I yeah. really think it would it would take the tension yeah. out and, and kind of like, you know, a gentle escort, yeah. if you will. But yeah. I know that a sensual that escort. And they do be, exist. Mm-hmm. You know, that may exist. not be the way you want it to be. I mean, maybe in your mind, like have that not count. Yeah, like, have yeah. it not count exactly. It's like the rehearsal. Just, yeah, exactly. The rehearsal. You're right. It's yeah. the rehearsal. Yeah, it's the rehearsal. Like, you're just still... practicing for whoever you f- happens to be the one you right. love. Yeah, you're right. And then, and yeah. then, yeah. And glad, then, glad we've solved that for yeah. you. Yeah. <laughs> So Happy glad. to be yeah. here for you. Uh, if you have any other burning questions, you can submit them to justthetipsxo at gmail.com. You can hit us up on the Twitter, on the Instagram. Uh, is there any other interesting things, Brian, we should address? It's just uh, just time to get all alliterative, I believe. Get okay. What? It's haiku time. Oh, my God. It's haiku. haiku time. I don't know about haiku time. Sarah. Oh, yeah, Sarah. So at the end of every episode... We, we do a haiku poem. And for those of you out there who aren't too familiar with it, it's loosely a Japanese-based poem uh, with five syllables on the first line, seven. seven syllables on the second line, five syllables on the third line. doesn't have to rhyme. That's basically it. So we're each going to take a line and make this poem. <laughs> no, no pressure. We're going to write a poem together, no Sarah. We have something we've something we've never done. done. And Brian, can come <laughs> so yeah. I'll start it off this time. You're gonna start it off. We'll oh no, that means I have to do the. End. You, yeah, so you have the most Would time you? to think oh. about it. So you have to think about five syllables. Okay. Chiripo titty job. Chiripo titty job. Isn't that, Is that six? six? Chir- oh fuck me. See, no. Sometimes I fuck up. Hold on. Chiripo Chiripo tit job. Boob job. Chiripo. Chiripo boob job. Chiripo boob job. That's five. Mm-hmm. There we go. First okay. line. Chiripo, Chiripo boob, boob job. job. Um, my sister wasn't punk. Ooh. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. My sister wasn't punk. No, wait. That's six. No. My punk rock. rock. Yeah. Ooh. Okay. Chirip- my sister wasn't punk rock. Okay. So, so Chiripo. S- Chiripo boob job. Chiripo boob job. My sister wasn't punk rock. Sarah, take us home. Five syllables. My give CD. me back Britney. Oh. Give me back. Yeah. My. No, no she had Give me back Britney. Yes. Give me back Britney. <laughs> Great job, Sarah. So. <laughs> the pressure was on. So wait, so do you let's, remember it? Yeah, so yeah. this is our haiku for episode uh, 19, I believe it was, oh, yeah, of seen, Just yeah. the Tips, greatest podcast of all time. Yeah, greatest podcast. Chiripo boob job. My sister wasn't punk rock. Give uh, me back Britney. Give me back Britney. Give me back, Brittany. What a good go. haiku. There we go, folks. Look at that. Yay. Make Yay. sure make sure you are subscribed to this podcast and make sure you are subscribed. Our sister show. To our sister yeah, we, show. Yeah, we officially, we're going to call Cooking in Brooklyn our sister yeah. show. Yay. So I will plug it at the end of every episode. Really? Yeah. And say, make sure to check out Cooking in Brooklyn. And you yes. never know. Yeah. Maybe one day there'll be a Cooking in Brooklyn podcast. Maybe. Who knows? We can cook. One could hope. We can't really cook in the studio, but we can talk about what we cooked, even though the whole time we're cooking, we're already talking about it. Or we could but just talk about whatever. We could. We yeah. have plenty of things to we talk have plenty about. Of, we, we could talk forever. This yeah. may be the start of something very special. It's the start special. of something. Yeah. Thank you, everyone, for listening. Uh, again, please, please, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, it helps us out a lot. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, everyone. We'll see it's you. been a pleasure. We'll see you on the next one. Yeah. Yeah.